What's up, Melanated family? This is your boy Harrison from MelanatedFathers.com and Melanated Fathers TV, bringing you the latest news as it pertains to our community. So, I've got a pretty interesting story for you today, family. 14 black players from the 1969 University of Wyoming football team is receiving an apology today because in 1969, all 14 of the players were kicked off the team. Now, the reason that they were kicked off the team is because they wanted to join a protest because basically Wyoming was playing Brigham Young University. And for those of you who may not know, Brigham Young University is a school that's owned by the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. And at the time, well, actually all the way up until 1978, the church ruled that black people were not allowed to become priests. So the black players basically went to their coach, who was a man by the name of Lloyd Eaton at the time, and basically asked if they can join in solidarity with the other uh, protesters by wearing black armbands during the game. Now, instead of just telling the players no, the coach actually kicked all 14 of them off the team. The decision led to campus protests. It made the national news. You know, three of the students returned to play for the school in 19. While three others decided to attend historically black colleges, uh, uh, two of the players actually ended up going to the NFL. You know, now this marks this year marks the 50th anniversary of the incident where they have an entire week they're dedicating to the players where, you know, and they play and they call the players the black 14, by the way. So they gave him a dinner. They gave him a plaque telling him they apologize. The current athletic director, Tom Berman, you know, wrote them a letter. So how do you guys feel about this, family? You know, I'm all for acknowledging uh, wrongdoing, but is it a little bit too late? You know what I'm saying? We're talking 50 years here. And, you know, it makes me think of other incidents with other incidents with black folks where they kill us, they harm us, they do something real foul to us, and hella years down the line, they decide to apologize. The Emmett Till situation was similar to this in a way meaning you know the lady who lied on him on her deathbed she actually told the truth about what happened you feel me so i'm you know i'm kind of tired of seeing situations where you gotta wait 50 60 70 years and in a lot of these cases the people involved don't even be alive anymore you know what i'm saying i'm um, i'm sure you know i know it was a really racist time um, it's, it's racist now but i you know in 1969 it was a real racist atmosphere you know so i know they couldn't apologize then or it was too too much white supremacy going around then for them actually to acknowledge what happened. But, you know, if this was my family, this was somebody in my family, my grandpa, my dad or some shit like that, I'd tell them keep the apology. But that's just me. You feel me? So for more stories like that, for more stories like this, please go to MelanatedFathers.com. Go to Melanated Fathers TV on YouTube. Check out everything we're doing. Um, check out the latest episode of the Melanated Combo Podcast. That's on MelanatedFathers.com right now as well. Don't forget to like the page. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hit that notification bell so you can be alerted when new videos drop. I'm gone.